started vlogging, I had to research vlogging and I found so many vlogs on what to pack for holiday, what to pack for a festival, what to pack in your makeup bag. This one, what to pack for hospital. Now hospital can be like a bit of a holiday. You're going in three nights, four nights, you know, you're getting free drugs, even better than a festival. You get to sleep, you get to eat free food. Well, that's if you're with the NHS, you might not get freebies elsewhere. So think of it like packing for a little mini holiday break getaway. This is about mastectomies, but a lot of this stuff is kind of generic stuff if you're going to hospital. So it's relevant to anybody really going into hospital. I'm not gonna go through it all, but there's a link below to a website, Keeping Abreast, which is my local support group, and they've got loads of good stuff listed out. And I'm gonna write down in the comments everything that I've got on this table anyway. Let's start from when you wake up. You will need a mastectomy bra. So a little bit like this, one that zips up the front because it's gonna be really difficult to move your arms behind your back and you're gonna to have to show surgeons, doctors, nurses your chest, so you need to be able to unzip it. I went in wearing mine, I don't know why, it really freaked me out because I was under anaesthetic, I had my boobs removed, but it freaked me out when I woke up wearing my mastectomy bra, like somebody had been dressing me when I was unconscious. You will also need some snacks, really important to have some snacks, um, just things like cereal bars, maybe some crisps. This guy, he's called Fuel, amazing, it's a peanut butter pouch and you can just suck the peanut butter straight out of there. It's full of protein so it's really good for your recovery as well. Cough sweets are an essential, you'll have a tube down your throat so you might have a really sore throat and it could be a little bit dry in hospital so you might want some cough sweets just to soothe your throat a bottle a water bottle is really good one which has a straw in it and um, you might not be able to move your arms that much so it's good just to have a straw you could keep it next to you and just suck on it and only have to move your head i would also recommend bringing in some straws with you these ones are metal straws to save the planet um, but again, good if they're bringing squash around so that you can easily drink it. Now let's talk about entertainment. Depending how long you're in there and what you're going to bring in. Um, I had a Kindle with me and also a book, but something that you know quite well. Don't start reading War and Peace if you've never read it before. Harry Potter, which you might have read 20, 30, 40 times. You might not fancy reading. Audiobooks are really good. So download loads of audiobooks or podcasts onto your phone because they're much easier than having to sit up and read. You might want to bring with you a little journal just to record what your doctor says or what medication you might be on, any advice that they might give you. And I recommend if you're having a mastectomy to get a specific booby one, just because it'll make you smile a little bit. Here is a cat. We love cats, but not right now. What are you doing? Where are you going? <laughs> More entertainment, a little bag of wires here. I recommend a long phone charger. I think this one's three meters long because you don't know where your closest socket will be to charge it from. So this is great and it'll just reach across the bed. You will get a bit tangled as well with your drains. So you want a long one so nothing gets pulled out of you. In here as well, I brought a headphone splitter so that me and my boyfriend could watch Netflix together or watch shows together and both have headphones attached to it. In terms of headphones, ones like these are really good. Noise cancelling headphones because there's a lot of noise in hospitals, beeping, whirring, moaning, crying, um, and all the noise from the other patients as well. <laughs> so in terms of sleeping, you're gonna want some earplugs. And in terms of blocking everything out completely, you want an eye mask. I've got a lanyard here. I didn't use this, but quite a few people recommended to me to have lanyards so that they could hold your drains. So it might be worth taking one just in case. They're only really little. Clothes, sexy hospital clothes. Bring some flip-flops, just in case you're gonna have a shower, much easier to flop about in. Uh, bed socks, good to have ones with grip on the bottom, just in case it's the slippy hospital floor. It shouldn't be, but you don't wanna risk it. You do not wanna fall face first onto your tits after a mastectomy, or fall at all, because you're gonna use your hands and that might hurt. Pajamas, I recommend getting pajamas which are way too big for you. Mine are six sizes too big and ones that button up the front so that again, you can just flash your surgeon whenever you see them. Um, even if they don't want you to, just hey, hey, hey. <laughs> don't do that, you might get in trouble in hospital. 
but loose jammies are really good um, if you're having Dieppe flap you might be recommended not to wear sort of pajama bottoms it might be that you have a long nighty that buttons up the front dressing gown I have one with little pockets so that I could shove my drains in when I went for a little shuffle about the hospital your hospital should give you a little bag for your medication so everything that you need to take just put it in there now what you want in your wash bag baby wipes most important thing or cleansing wipes makeup wipes because you're not going to be able to shower very easily if at all i wasn't allowed to shower when i had my drains in so i had to give a little wipe your usual stuff like toothpaste toothbrush you might want conditioner and shampoo just in case in a little bottle deodorant now these are really cool my friend got me these they're from lush and they're like little toothpaste tablets so instead of having to get up and go and brush your teeth in the toilet, you just use this and you chew on them and brush and then either swallow or spit, up to you. If you can't get to the shower, dry hair shampoo, hairbrush, maybe a teeny weeny bottle of perfume just so you feel beautiful and lovely and smell lush. Moisturiser and chapstick. Similar with lozenges, you're going to get pretty dry, <laughs> all around dry. So chapstick, lip balm, to moisturise your lips and just a little bit of moisturiser for all over. And your mastectomy essentials. Some hospitals have these, they just give them out to patients um, who've had mastectomies, but you can't necessarily rely on that. So mastectomy pillow, you can pop them up underneath your arm. They're also really good for the journey home because they'll protect you from the seatbelt. And drain bags. My friend made me these, they're reversible Christmas drain bags because I went in at Christmas. I love them so much. I'm gonna now use them for my pegs, keep my clothes pegs in. Now last but by no means less, mobile telephone. So that you can tweet, Instagram, not really. So that you can keep in touch with people, watch things, listen to audiobooks and podcasts and just kind of not feel so lonely in there. Text people, tell your friends how you're doing. Or play Snake. Does anyone play Snake anymore? And one thing I've forgotten, which I don't have on the table, is an electric fan. It can get really hot in hospitals. There's lots of people in there, even in winter. I had my operation in December and I still needed my electric fan. And also when I was feeling a bit mean, I could just pretend I was Marilyn Monroe and put the wind in my hair. So wouldn't expect you to take all of this at once. I would suggest having a little bag and bringing the essentials and having a bigger bag so that your friend, parents, partner can bring in the rest of your stuff later. Enjoy your stay in hospital or holiday, mini break, however you want to see it. By the way, I have done this whole vlog post mastectomy. It's looking pretty good. If you have any questions, please contact me. Um, the list is below and have a lovely day. Do not want to fall do not want to fall. I went for a little walk about. I went for a little walk about. Oh. What? Check out my other vids, uh, why I had a mastectomy in the first place, what my mastectomy recovery was like. Check out that cat, I kicked her outside. She is pissed off, but she is still a little bit of a badass.